Canada has declared its deep concerns to the top intelligence and security officials of the Indian government. Last week at the G20, I brought them personally and directly to Prime Minister Modi in no uncertain terms. Any involvement of a foreign government in the killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil is an unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. It is contrary to the fundamental rules by which free, open and democratic societies conduct themselves. As you would expect, we've been working closely and coordinating with our allies on this very serious matter. In the strongest possible terms, I continue to urge the Government of India to cooperate with Canada to get to the bottom of this matter. On a personal reflection, I want to share with you what this means to the Sikh community. I grew up hearing many stories that if you raise concerns about human rights violations in India, that you might be denied a visa. That if you went back to India, you could suffer violence, torture, and even death. I grew up hearing those stories. But to hear the Prime Minister of Canada corroborate a potential link between a murder of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil by a foreign government is something I could never have imagined. To understand what that means to the community, this is a place that so many people around the world have sought as refuge. People have fled persecution in their home countries where they were threatened by torture and violence and death to come to Canada as a beacon of safety, a place where you could be safe, free from violence, be able to speak your thoughts, speak your mind and not worry if you would wake up dead the next day or someone you loved would be tortured or killed. That safety and security that so many Canadians feel has now been rocked. It has been shocked and it's been destabilized. We know that the practice of the Indian government has been one of division, of violence, persecution, attacking those that are critical of the government. It is now an important time to send a clear message as a democratic country, as a country that respects the rule of law, what will be our response?